In this video, we're going to be talking about setting your default template. Now, a default template is basically how you want your charts to look every time you pull them up is what a default template is. So we're gonna show you how to customize your chart, make it look the way that you want it to look, save that and make sure it shows up that way for every chart that you open moving forward. So let's go ahead and show you that. Now I just have a chart here that I've added a chart theme to. Down here I've added the Metastock Dark theme. So that's the theme I want to use. I'm going to add a few indicators to it. I would like to add the moving average, actually a couple moving averages. So I'm just going to add a 25 period. That's fine, we'll add that. And then I'll grab it again and drag it on again. And I will do a 50 period. And I'd like this one to be blue. And I would like to add one more moving average and I will do a 200 period moving average and I will make that one green. Okay, so I have my three moving averages. This is how I'd like my chart to show up every time I open up a chart is with these moving averages. It's very simple to do as a first step. I'm going to right click anywhere in the gray space away from the chart and I'll go down and say save as default template. So I'll say, do that, click yes to replace. And now this is set as my default template. Now, if you've opened up other charts in what Metastock calls smart charts, it's going to remember those the way they were. So we need to clear out any old charts and make sure that this is my default view. To do that, I'm going to close this chart. I'm going to go up to file in Metastock and delete smart charts. If I delete my smart charts, it'll give me a warning here. Anything you've done is going to be cleared out as far as putting line studies, anything on a chart. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed. Say yes. All my smart charts have been deleted. So now when I go up here and let's just open up a different chart. I can't remember what we were looking at before, but I'll put in apple. O, and it should pull up exactly the way I set it up with my default template. So this is a very easy way to set up your default, make it what you wanna be. It's a great simple shortcut to setting everything up. And now I can just look at the charts the way I want them to be. I hope you found this uh, to be instructional and informative and thanks for stopping by.